What would you give to cure cancer? Ten dollars? A hundred? A thousand? Uh, hang on a second. Uh, did you know the March of Dimes was launched during the Great Depression and led to the polio vaccine? This is like so bizarre. Every minute in America, someone dies from cancer. How much would you give and how hard would you fight to end that? Thanks. <laughs> if you could stop your loved one from the pain, the anguish of cancer, would you? Hang on. Just like the generation before us stood up to polio, we must stand up to cancer. They're going to ask him all the questions. We are right here waiting for you to call. You'll be really glad that you did. At Cancer Treatment Centers of America, I was treated as a whole person. And I was treated with the care and respect that everyone deserves. All of us at Cancer Treatment Centers of America, our doctors, our nurses, and patients, are proud to stand, stand up, up to cancer. cancer. Everybody said it was the most beautiful wedding they'd ever seen. Never mind that it took place in an emergency room and that the groom wore the gown. And when they wheeled her brand new husband away, the bride spent her wedding night in her mother's arms crying. When I said I do, what I meant was I will. I will fight anybody who tells us something can't be done. I will celebrate the tiny victories as though they are big ones. I will thank you for showing the world what grace really means. I will never give up. I will never forget. Translational research is the cornerstone of Stand Up to Cancer. It means taking information from the lab, the bench, and creating immediate solutions that can translate quickly to the bedside. As good as any idea is, it may seem in the lab, it's just an idea, unless it works for the patient. Your support of dream teams like this one helps get the latest research from the lab to the patient more quickly, and that can literally save lives. My name is Myra Thompson. I was married 47 years ago, and we had five children. The day that I heard I had cancer, I was devastated. All I know is cancer was the end. Mrs. Thompson is a patient who had a cancer that was very resistant to standard treatment, whose tumor had grown through chemotherapy. It was essentially laughing at standard therapy. Come on back. With implementation of epigenetic therapy, her tumors have not gone away, but they've stopped growing. And they've stopped growing for a long period of time, now about 10 months. Epigenetics is a way that cells remember things they can remember what genes they should use and they shouldn't use. The epigenetic alterations that occur in cancer can turn off genes that are normally genes that control cancer growth and that prevent cancer growth. What makes uh, our project so exciting is, is that we, can, we have drugs that can reverse these changes, can unlock the doors, can turn genes back on again, make things right. The genes come back on and hopefully you would get an anti-tumor effect. Steve and I are constantly bouncing information back and forth. Uh, what we learn in the laboratory, we try to apply in the clinic, but we're also getting specimens back from these patients and taking them back to the laboratory. That's translational research. We hope for this therapy, but for all therapies, that we can learn to have the right drug for the right patient at the right time. A standard up to cancer has been essential in actually moving this forward. We're waiting for our 50th anniversary, and I know I'll be around. Hi. We're here to tell you about lung cancer. And they said, make it funny. But no, they didn't. Yes, I don't know about you, but that's why my phone rings. Please come and bring the funny. Okay, these are lungs. One's black from smoking. How are you making this funny? Ebony and ivory. The facts we have to get across. Sit together on this piece of mahogany. If people quit smoking, cancer deaths would be reduced by a third. Side by side, out here instead of inside. But 25% of lung cancer worldwide will be diagnosed in people who never smoke. Oh, Lord, it's scaring me. Stand Up to Cancer is looking for new cures and new therapies for lung cancer, no matter the cause. So please, go to the phone, give what you can, or Eric will keep singing. Everybody. Body wang lung tonight.
Last month, Survivor started a team on StandUpToCancer.org. And thanks to our great fans, Survivor cast and crew, and CBS employees, we have raised over $28,000. So we at So You Think You Can Dance and The Biggest Loser are joining Survivor and Extreme Makeover Home Edition to launch a new reality team challenge. So walk. Or run. Or dance to StandUpToCancer.org to support your favorite team. Join the Extreme Makeover Home Edition fundraising team at StandUpToCancer.org. Make a difference and stand up to cancer! Okay. Hello. Cancer is a crisis so constant that 11,000 lives can be taken in a week. It makes no headlines, no talk shows, no congressional proclamations. For the 1.5 million people diagnosed with cancer, it's a disaster. They live through every single day. So please call 1 888 90STAND or log on to SU2. C.org and give what you can for the, the ones you love. Now, please welcome from Green Day, Billy Joe Armstrong. Summer has come and pass. The innocent can never last. Wake me up when September ends. Like my father's come to pass Seven years has gone so fast Wake me up when September ends Here comes the rain again Falling from the stars Drenched in my pain again Becoming who we are As my memory rests But never forgets what I lost Wake me up when September ends You can also donate on Stand Up To Cancer's Facebook page or give with Facebook credits. Or you can join a team on su2c.org. And look who we have here. Can you stand up, Mary? This is Mary Lou Sinclair, part of the David Archuleta's Angels Crush Kids Cancer Team. And they have raised $16,000 for this summer's team challenge and have raised over $66,000 for Stand Up To Cancer since 2008. So let's give them a big hand. Good job, Archie. Let me borrow that. 
And for the next 10 minutes, the highest donors who call the number on your screen will receive an SU2C high-def flip cam, just like this. So call now and donate big. Good work, you two.